a once in a lifetime program here in Akron aimed at repairing homes just like this one. I'm Kaylee Olivas. One contractor in this program says they were pushed out, losing tens of thousands of dollars, even potentially their own home. Akron, it's been a place to call home for nearly 30 years for Dave Curtis and April Stanovic, but they're wanting to leave it better than how they found it. We're trying to do good for the community. With the city of Akron's fairly new home repair program, trying to do good for the community took on a whole new look. It's aimed at helping those who need it the most, from repairing flooring and roofs to installing doors and windows. Like, I don't even know what would happen if it wasn't for this program. Launching in 2022, the program came with a huge chunk of federal money. The city of Akron looking at 15 million to make a difference. The largest housing repair program in U.S. history. This program can really, really make a difference. Alongside 53 other contractors, 184 homes were repaired during the first phase. But then this letter hit April and Dave's inbox, saying the mayor is wanting to, quote, shift the program in a different direction. This was very unexpected. How do we proceed? And to kind of have that ripped out from under you with, mm -hmm. with no warning whatsoever. Has, has taken multiple tolls on us. According to a statement sent to me from the City of Akron Deputy Director of Economic Development, Sean Volman, quote, the size of the response to the program made the initial plan of using one partner to run the program impractical. And so the city wanted to get more nonprofits involved. The city saying some contractors left voluntarily, some involuntarily. Since the program took another round, April says she's been in contact with some, like the 87-year-old couple beyond these walls who say their repairs have been left unfinished. The city tells News 5 it plans to investigate their home and make necessary repairs by July 12th. I really hope that it does turn around into a positive direction again. This program is not open to any new applicants. Those with unfinished repairs are encouraged to phone the city of Akron. I'm Kaylee Olivas for News 5.